Hey, what's up, YouTube land? And yes, I have been back from the toy hunt, and I got a huge haul of action figure goodness to show off in this toy haul video. Yep, we got an unopened crate creature. So pretty much a brand new item. I'll have to figure out how to open it. Figure out how to open this. And a whole bunch of other figures. And we're going to be going through each and every figure. We got a frozen Elsa plush. And that crate creature keeps going off. Sorry about that. Wish I could turn him off. Of course we got a bunch of other stuff here too he's going to continue to do that so just ignore it we got a ninja turtles vintage micro city play set micro play set i will try to review this because these are little tiny figures Inside a little Dungeons and Dragons little style playset. Which looks pretty cool. By my standards. And I don't usually get compliments to this. It's just literally that cool. So it's like a Dungeons and Dragons sort of thing. And this is going in my review bucket list. So let's toss it in the review bucket list of items to do on this channel. Next on the list, we got this little little uh, submarine robot. Sorry, I'm just sick of that. <laughs> we got a little submarine with grappling claws, which is pretty cool. And I dig it. That's why I picked this up from the Goodwill Outlet. It was pretty cool. Next on the list, we got a Playmobil character. I don't know this one. We got a Transformer, and this is Cyberverse. Megatron, and he looks pretty cool. We're going to look at each and every figure here. <laughs> And yeah, we're going through them quite quickly. We got Freddy from Scooby-Doo, one of my favorite cartoons when I was a kid. Pikachu from Pokemon, and I love Pokemon. I still do to this day. And this is a dragon plush. This is going out to my man Bert, who loves dragons. Bert, who picks up some dragon stuff. You are awesome. And I have my very first dragon here on this channel. We got Dragonoid Bakugan figure where you can put Bakugan spears in his arms and in his legs. So this is an actual action figure. I will be reviewing this on my bucket list. It's a big item, so it will be a nice item to review for change. We got some Minnie Mouse plushes. I got three of those. Because she's Minnie Mouse and she's a cute m mouse character. I got three different variants. Well, four. And what would mention a Pokemon without some Pokeballs? Yes, we got some Pokeballs here. Show you how that works. I don't have the original figures that go in these, but you can totally add anything to these Pokeballs. They will probably be displayed on the shelf, but I got several Pokeballs in here. I think this is another character from a Disney movie. I don't know this character. We got another Transformer, and this is a Battle Master. This is Lionizer. From Transformers Siege. And he is a sword. 
sword lion thing, and he looks pretty cool. He will be reviewed on this channel. Next on the list, we got another Buzz Lightyear, because I grew up with Toy Story when I was just a kid. And he will make a nice addition to my Toy Story collection. Next on the list, we got another minion. This could be uh, Kem Kevin or someone else. If you know, leave me a comment. We got an Iron Man race car. I just dig this when I found it at the outlet today. Next, we got a Superman action figure. Because I like Superman. And this is my second Superman action figure. We got Donald Duck in a teacup. <laughs> and he looks so dizzy. <laughs> Funny figure. We got Disney's Dory plush. We got Supergirl plush, which is nice. We got another Pokeball. Because they're Pokeballs. We got Chewbacca's crossbow. I've always wanted Chewie's crossbow. So he could be like. Taking out some stormtroopers with this. And I will try to find a place for this in my collection. Because it's Chewbacca's crossbow. We got another Buzz Lightyear here. And this is a bigger one than the one we just looked at and he's got his helmet on and that's cool but he's a bit tricky with closing his helmet maybe because he's a, been treated roughly but he will go in the collection with the other Buzz Lightyears I own and we got this weird safari dude character. I don't know his name. He's probably a knockoff. If you know his name, then leave me a comment. We got Spen here from Frozen. Action figure version of him. Which is nice. I love me action figures. And that's a good looking action figure. Next on the list, we have... Ravon James from the new Space Jam, A New Legacy. It's a fast food toy. And we got a whole bunch of The Eternals. I've never watched The Eternal movies, but I have a whole set of these now. From Disney's Eternals. Marvel's Eternals. I may, I may have grabbed an extra one by mistake. It happens. But I got a whole set of these. And these are just like the Marvel Endgame figures. Just redone. We got Winnie the Pooh because I grew up with Winnie the Pooh when I was a kid. And he was my favorite teddy bear from... My childhood. Looks like he got out of his arm, out of his sleeve, so let's get him back in his shirt, huh? This will be having a permanent place in my collection with my Disney stuff. And we got this Pokemon belt or whatever this thing is. If you know, leave me a comment because I don't know, but it's Pokemon related. And I just love Pokemon to this day. Okay, when we got a Marvel plush here, it's Black Panther. A lot of these I'm going to know off the bat, and some of these I ain't going to know. Like this guy, I don't, I think he's from that Last Dragon movie. If you know his name, leave me a comment, but he's got a cool axe, and that's pretty cool for a fast food toy. We got the other girl from the, uh, Last Dragon, and she's wielding a sword. I dig that. Daffy Duck 
from Space Jams. It's a new legacy. It's Daffy Duck. And I grew up with Looney Tunes when I was a kid. And we got Bugs Bunny, and he is the ball on his head, which is pretty cool. Next, we got the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner, and he's dribbling the ball. Nice. We got my uh, got myself a Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She was probably one of the cutest Disney characters from my childhood. Another Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And this is Finn. Good old Finn. Can't go wrong with a Finn in your Force Awakens collection. And here we got another Finn. And he's riding the Millennium Falcon. He's driving it. That's cool for a fast food toy. And here is my third, my second Jurassic World figure. And this is a Velociraptor. Oh man, he is mean looking one, isn't he? He will be going in my Jurassic Park collection and maybe be reviewed. I don't have much Jurassic Park. But this is a knockoff Jurassic Park. And he's a T-Rex, so you can get him pulled on his arm. And he makes noise. That's a pretty cool T-Rex, if I do say so myself. And this weird robot dude I picked up because he was a robot dude. I thought he was a neat looking robot. He'll go in my random robot collection. We got Sonic the Hedgehog, another Sonic the Hedgehog here. This one doesn't have any articulation in the uh, knees or elbows. You'll probably just wind up mixed in with my other Sonic stuff. Next on the list, we got a dino truck. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a weird dino truck thing. I don't know what line this comes from, but if you know, leave me a comment. But it's pretty cool. Next, we got this uh, Knuckles little thing. It's pretty cool. And look, it's Knuckles himself. And sorry you're over here and Jeff upstairs. You'll be hearing him a lot over this. So sorry about that in general. Next, we got Wiley Coyote from Looney Tunes. And this is from Space Jam A New Legacy. I never had any Space Jam figures in my collection. Next, we got Snoopy, and he is on his doghouse typing on a typewriter. I am starting to get a thing for Snoopy. Next, we got Velma. Good old Velma from Mystery Incorporated. And Velma will always be one of the original members of Mystery Inc. from my childhood. We got Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. It looks like he can launch something. But I got this from the thrift store, so obviously he's missing that launching part. Because he's used. Next on the list, we got this weird spider dude. I think he might be from Treasure X, but if you know, leave me a comment on this dude. Next on the list, we got something I do know. That's from that new from that cartoon series, We Bear Bears, and this is Ice Bear. He's a bear. So that's all I need to know about him. We got this weird clown figure from a weird line. If you know this guy, leave me a comment, because I got no clue who this clown guy is. We got a little Goofy figure, obviously a super old Goofy, but it's Goofy. Why not? Why wouldn't I want to own Goofy? Next on the list, we have Snoopy again. He's riding a rocket. That's pretty cool for a Snoopy toy. Next on the list, we have a, another Pokeball. Sorry, one of these army dudes I picked up today wound up in there. But yeah, we got some more Pokeballs. 
And I, I am picking up Pokeballs. Next on the list, we got this weird blaster. This might be from Wild Force or Ninja Steel. If you know, leave me a comment. But this is a Lion Blaster. But it's pretty cool. And we got a little sound wave. Sound wave superior. Autobots inferior. He'll wind up with my random Transformers novelties here. And I got an extra one of her. I'll probably just toss her in the donation bins, but she is from Eternals. And the last two figures from this toy haul are another Shatter, which will be used for custom fodder. When I found this at Goodwill Outlet, I picked it up. But this is going to be fodder for another custom. I don't know what kind of custom I'll make out of this. But you will be the first ones to be notified on what custom I will make from this figure. Next on the list, we got the big scale Buzz Lightyear action figure. And this guy will be reviewed for sure because... He is a classic Buzz, and I've always wanted one in my collection. And he is pretty cool. And just to show you, I probably won't show, show him off much, but he will be reviewed on this channel. Good old Buzz Lightyear. But yeah, another buzz for my collection. And the last thing from this toy haul is from my favorite childhood series when I was a kid. This is the Ben 10 Rust Bucket. And this is the newer brand Ben 10 Rust Bucket. Yeah, but still a twist on the old school Rust Bucket by my standards. I got Heat Blast and Diamond Head from the old school Ben 10 in there. I don't think... I probably will review this eventually, but for now, it's probably going to wind up on the shelf displayed. And that's my entire Goodwill Outlet toy haul. I hope you enjoyed all the figures I picked up. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out, YouTube land.